but on the high eye. So, you know, ideas yep. come up, um, I, you know, influ influence and all those other things that come around in my awareness. And I kind of like the idea of shiny objects sometimes. And I kind of like the idea mm. of, you know, meeting with different people and, 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 and working with them on joint ventures and things like that. So I do need to be mindful of this character trait that I have within me. I guess that self-awareness, Tony, mm. um, you want to speak about it Correct. further in terms of that and how we can actually think about all those things like shiny objects, diversification, all those things that I talk about in, in terms of property and me as an example for everyone else out there. Yeah, it's about leveraging your strengths. So you've identified that your strengths are as a conduit, as a collaborator, as an influencer, right? That's you. You sit in the middle and you're constantly there. So it's, allow, it's around how do you then create that and commercialize that, add value to people by, by doing that. Uh, there's other people who are you know, absolute drivers and they have, to, they have to run the show and it's all about them, et cetera, whereas you're trying to facilitate uh, and, and be that conduit. So it's about recognizing who you are, recognizing what you're good at, recognizing what you're not good at, uh, and, you know, double, triple down on the things that you are good at. I think that's critically important because otherwise you'll be, you'll be doing things that you aren't good at. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing will be that it's going to take you so much longer because you're not good at it. The third thing is you're going to get yourself down in the dumps because you're not good at it and you won't like doing it. So it's like just find the thing that you love doing. It's the old saying, when you love what you do, you'll never work another day again in your life. And it takes people time. And I talk here often around the Ikigai process which is the, uh, you know, what do you love? What are you great at? Uh, what does the world need? And what can you get rewarded for? And it's an amazing process. For those who haven't heard me mention it before, it's Japanese for reason for being. Mm. What is your reason for being? And it's spelled I-K-I-G-A-I. -I -I. Google it up. Uh, if you want some information on it, please hit me up. Uh, but uh, you need to spend the time on processes like that to understand who you really are, uh, what your strengths are, but not only what your strengths are, actually recognize what you're not good at. And it's okay. We've all got, goodness me, I've got an enormous amount of weaknesses, right? But the thing is that I don't want to focus on those. Uh, I want to try and outsource those in my business and focus on the things that, that I can make a difference uh, with. Uh, and I, I guess love doing. getting a stronger point towards, you know, being who you really are and what you really want to do. Do you avoid some of those things like procrastination, like, um, you know, fears in your life? Is that, <laughs> is that what you see in clients that you work with, Tony? Avoiding procrastination, uh, a lot of people don't avoid it. A lot of people do too much procrastination, Luke. So uh, that's one of the challenges. Uh, and you know what? Um, I procrastinate, mm. right? So there's plenty of times when I do. But the difference with me versus, say, a number of other people is I have taught myself over a number of years to recognize when it's happening. And then I ask myself one of two questions. Uh, a, is this going to take me closer to my goal or further away? And if it's going to take me further away, I'm making a conscious decision that I'm going to sit here and scroll on social media for half an hour or whatever. Um, and that's my decision. That's my choice. What happens is a lot of people are actually procrastinating and they don't realize that they're procrastinating. They're operating on with their subconscious. It's happening mm. automatically. Uh, there's fears that are kicking in and they're not even aware of it. Right. So, but whereas for me, I've been able to teach myself to get more and more aware by elevating my consciousness. And I'm, and you know, but again, it doesn't mean that I, um, I'm always right or it always works for me. No, I make mistakes every single day. And it's about uh, how do I constantly be better tomorrow or better today than I was yesterday? And then how am I better tomorrow yeah. than I am today? And constantly just pushing myself to be, and even if it's just that much better, right? So uh, you just want to constantly look at improving, growing, developing. All yeah, the, the self-awareness piece is a huge one, Tony. It's a, it's a you know, I, I think about yeah. it when I am scrolling sometimes as well. I was like, well, um, have I not, posted something about the information that's going on that can be relevant and can add value to people. Um, is what I'm commenting on going to add value to people and, and work with me and, and have something that I can actually understand and recognize for myself? So that self-awareness piece is a big one for people. Um, anything you want to uh, talk about further with that? Okay, yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I, I do. Of course I do. Uh, so that's the... <laughs> No, but I, so, so I hear. Uh, so I hear you talk about tap, which is team action. Patience. Uh, patience. patience. How could right? you forget patience? Uh, <laughs> and and uh, patience. Uh, I was just taking a while to get there. Right, that was me being patient. Uh, but uh, but but I was thinking that for me the the different acronym is trap, which is team right action and patience. And the reason that I say that is because there's people that are busy, and not mm. productive. So you can be active, you can be doing stuff, you can be busy, 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 
but is it actually taking you to where you want to get to? And so the key for me is to emphasize, is it the right action? You know, and I talk, uh, you know, constantly around a statistic, which is that, you know, if we were to send a rocket ship from Earth to the moon, it was off target by mm. 1%. By the time it got in line with the moon, it would, it would miss the moon by 6,709 kilometres. And 1% off yeah. target. And I see it all the time where people are busy and they'll sit there and go, oh boy, I've been working hard, but they mightn't be working hard towards that right thing. So you want to challenge yourself. Busy is not good yeah, enough. Absolutely. It's got to be, you've got to be productive. You've got to be, you've got to be working towards that something and challenging yourself. But if you're doing something that's not taking you towards it, are you okay yeah. with that? Are you okay? Now it's okay to have downtime. There's nothing wrong with having downtime, but you just need to um, give yourself the choice, elevate your consciousness and go, well, that's what I'm working towards and I'm, and I'm being productive. Yeah, some really good insights there on self-awareness and about topics about shiny objects. Um, we spoke about diversification <laughs> within property, but you can associate it back to your own business or your own career, what you're doing. And, you know, Tony, uh, is there anything, you know, one particular thing that you may have come up with this week in terms of clients that you work with that you want to just yep. tell the audience and talk about before we wrap it all up for today? Yeah, so, so just in the spirit of what we're talking about, there's uh, one thing that I talk about is compartmentalizing your diary. So I'm a, I'm a believer that multitasking in the majority of cases doesn't work. Okay, and all it does is it, it enables you to um, spin your wheels, but you're not actually getting any traction. Now, I can see how it could work in the likes of, you know, for example, a kitchen when you've got different foods on different hot plates and different stuff going. I get all that. But from, uh, from what we're talking about uh, in your business, uh, it's all about compartmentalizing your diary and allocating time. It might be an hour on this mm. one task. Shut the phone down, shut down the distractions, turn that little dinger off that tells you there's an email that comes up, right? And just focus on that one thing. And then you might move on to then, say, doing your phone calls for the next hour. Again, put that into your diary. And then you might move on to, uh, you know, doing your book work for the next hour or whatever it is that you're going to do. That's the first thing. So it's about compartmentalizing your diary. The second thing is recognizing uh, when you're in flow. So, so that was something that I learned around, uh, you know, last week. And that is that you don't want to be going from having you know, uh, challenging conversations or uh, robust conversations to then try and switch over and go, right, now I'm going to develop some strategy. You know what I mean? So, so it's about working out in your day, when is the best time for mm. you to strategize that you can work on your business, not in your business? And I'm going to suggest that for me, uh, I'm a morning person. So I like to get the strategic stuff done in the morning. I'm, I'm at my sharpest. I haven't had any distractions. My phone's been off. I haven't seen my emails yet. And so I'm clear in my thought and I'm able to strategize and then I can get into my business and deal with whatever's coming up uh, and whatever's in my way. So I'm going to encourage people to, if you're, if you're multitasking, I'm going to suggest to you don't do it. Rather, compartmentalize your diary. The same with a to-do list. Rather than having a to-do list, a list of you know, 5, 10, 15 things, actually put it into your diary and go, right, from 9 to 9.30, I'm going to do that task. And then from 9.30 to 10, I'm going to do that task. And so there's two things here. One, that is the easier bit to put it into your calendar, to put it into your diary. The harder bit is to stick to it. The harder bit is the discipline to say, it's 9.30 and I'm going to stick to whatever this task is that I've got for myself for the next half an hour or hour. So you have to be disciplined. But I would encourage people to take the same approach as if you're meeting someone externally. That is, if I was to arrange a meeting with you, Luke, mm. at 10 o'clock, you and I would uh, commit to meeting, we'd be there, uh, we'd make sure that we're present, uh, etc. We need to do that with ourselves. If you Absolutely. commit to having a meeting with yourself or time with yourself from 10 to 10.30, then you need to commit to yourself. And what will happen is if you constantly uh, don't commit to yourself, then you're, whether you believe it or not, you're putting yourself as second all the time. And when you do that over a period of time, it's, it's getting into the subconscious that you're second, you're mm. not worth it. Right, because you're constantly saying, well, you know what, uh, you know, oh, it's just a meeting with myself. I'll deal with that later. But what you're doing is you're putting off your goals, your dreams, uh, your right. future. So uh, I would strongly encourage you to uh, compartmentalise and then be disciplined to following actually, up. Actually, on Tony, one of the uh, football announcers uh, in Sydney actually talks about, and it reminded me when you said about, you know, focus, turn off everything uh, before you get going on, on things. So he goes, don't touch the sets, don't touch the dials. I've got a cracking game ahead. So... You know, it's, a, it's about just like shutting off everything else and focusing on that one thing. So it's probably a good way to, you know, really uh, 
you know, wrap this up today. I had a really good speech around thinking about those things of shiny objects and um, diversification Correct. and things in, in whatever you do. And, you know, like you said, get in the flow and get focused on spending time with yourself if that's what you've scheduled in. Correct. So focus stands for follow one course until success. So for that half an hour, for that one hour, follow that one course. It doesn't mean you have to do it until it's, it's completed because if you're developing a new concept or whatever, that might take you days or weeks. But it's for that particular time, that 30 minutes, that one hour, follow one course until success. That's my acronym for We're focus. We're smashing That's out the ac finish on acronyms today. today, aren't we, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, uh, the sayings, the acronyms, the whole lot. So, uh, well, no, Tony, enjoy yourself well, um, there in Brisbane, and I will. Mate, you in enjoy California. yourself. Uh, you, you're having a blast. I'm, lo I'm, yeah, I'm loving all the videos that are coming across from California. It's amazing. So, where, what's uh, up um, to you next? I mate? am probably going to head to Palm Springs tomorrow. So, it's a, kind of a little bit of chill yeah, out right. day for today and tomorrow, um, and the next day, and we'll see how we go. Mm. Maybe a little bit of activity, a little bit of maybe even mountain biking, possibly on the way to Las Vegas before I go to the property tech event over there, uh, learn a little bit about what's the new up and coming things in property. So more, a little bit more diversification and shiny new objects over there to explore and actually just uh, see if what will work, oh, right? You've got to explore these ideas. Yeah, of course. Of course you do. I'll be, be open to it. No, there's nothing wrong with going to check out new trends and new technologies. In fact, and I would argue that and connect with people, naive right? if you don't. Network, of course, all of those types of things. So you need, you need to do that. But then I would just, from your own business point of view, Does it. bring it back to, I'm just going to start, with, I'm just going to start with, with one. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do that to about 80%, put some systems in place, and then I'm going to go to two. 80% systems in place, 80%, and then I'm going to go to three, etc. So uh, don't try and do 76 things at once. And Absolutely. And my mum says, <laughs> you be careful, Luke. <laughs> I, okay. I shouldn't. Thanks, I shouldn't Mom. really Thanks, talk Mr. about Maroney. What I do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you, Tony. Have a great day, buddy. <laughs> Cheers. Bye, Bye, mate. Thank you.